um, I went once to the South State in Kerala uh, for one of my cousin's weddings. And I must have been about seven years, six, seven years old. And I was very fascinated with a particular plant uh, in that state in Kerala. Um, it's called a touch me not. It's the, the leaves, uh, there's lots of leaves uh, on each little stalk, but the moment you touch it, it just closes up straight away, it just folds in immediately. And I was fascinated, I kept touching all the plants and making sure everything closed up. It takes a long time before it opens up again, but it's, so it's called a touch me not. I suppose a lot of us these days are like that touch me not in the spiritual life. We all look quite good on the outside, but the moment there is a temptation or a persecution or there's an attack from the evil one, we fold it immediately and we stay close for a very long time. Instead of being robust and being bright and open, we shut off shut down immediately and Paul is reminding the community in, in Ephesus he's saying each paragraph starts with some beautiful word he says the first one he says um, grow grow in God grow strong in God the second verse he says um, be strong in your faith and the third he says pray so in the spiritual life, we need to put on God's grace. We need to always clothe ourselves with the grace of God. Because the moment we open our eyes till the time we shut our eyes and fall asleep, there is a spiritual battle that is happening. If you, if you say, oh, I don't know about this because it doesn't happen to me, then maybe perhaps you're a lost cause already. You see, the devil, doesn't attack the saints because they'll just shoo them away. The devil doesn't attack the ones who are lost cause to him because he says, look, these are mine, they're already on my side, I don't do anything for them or to them, they'll just fall with me. But there is the majority of people who are striving for perfection, who are striving to live a holy life, who want to do the right thing to follow the gospel values to follow Christ and they are the ones who are tempted the most think about it whenever you decide to give up something to grow in a virtuous life that vice is tested and you're tempted in that particular way severely and so often we think oh just because we're tempted we just fall over Temptation is not an opportunity to sin. It's an opportunity to grow in grace as well. So when you are tempted, put on this armor of God. Stand up strong in your faith, firm in faith. And so no matter what you say or do to the evil one, God's grace protects you. So don't give in to temptation every single time. If you are finding it hard you find the temptations intense and greater then which means you are trying to do the right thing so which means you need to pray more that's the secret if you want to protect yourself with God's grace if you want to stand firm in times of temptation then you need to have a better prayer life so greater the temptation should be greater the means that we run to God to pray the beautiful prayer to pray in times of temptation is the Hail Mary or the Memorare it says, no one who goes to the aid of the Blessed Mother is left unaided. It says, never has it ever been heard that anyone who fled to thy protection was left unaided. So when you are tempted, and you will be if you are trying to live a holy life, if you are trying to pursue a life of virtue, you are going to be tempted and sometimes tempted to the point of breaking. But remember, go to Our Lady, seek her intercession. She will always protect us. Our Lord, in the Gospel, he's using this beautiful image. He's looking at Jerusalem at the temple and he's saying, how I wish I can gather you all like a mother hen gathers its chicks under its brood. The moment the mother senses danger, 
it lets out a sound and the chicks run to her. At once she protects her chicks, she's ready to give her life for them, she protects them immediately. Our Lord wants to protect us from the snares of the devil, to remind us that he gave his life for us so you and I can be free, free to live the life he's calling us to live. And the temptation, the evil one, is always around us. St. Peter's reading from a previous episode says, the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. Stand up to him strong in faith. With the intercession of our Heavenly Mother and the grace that our Lord gives us in the Eucharist of his very self to us, we are protected. We have got this grace within us, this life of God in us. So stand up to the devil in strong in faith, firm in that foundation that the apostles have left for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.